What's going on? Hope you're having a fantastic day. So we here at Flick just recently announced and rolled out our Instagram scheduler feature. And in this video, we're gonna go through how to actually use it, how you can use it most effectively, and why it's such a powerful tool for saving you time and helping you grow faster on Instagram. So let's dive right into Flick and walk through it. All right, so we're into the back end of Flick. So once you have made an account and you've connected it to your Instagram accounts, this is what you will see. You see your collections, which you're used to. You see search, viral posts, collections, analytics, but now you're going to see scheduling and this is what we're gonna walk through in this video. So if you click scheduling right here, it's gonna bring you to our new tool. And if you are currently a creator account, it's gonna have this prompt for you. So heads up, auto posting is only available to Instagram business accounts. So if you would like it to automatically go live, which is obviously an added benefit, you're gonna to have to switch your account to a business account. That is a Facebook issue, that's not our issue. Just wanted to give you a heads up so that you can use this tool most effectively. So for the sake of this video, I converted my account over to a business account so you can see all the different features and why you may wanna do that to really maximize the use of this tool, save you a bunch of time and make things far more efficient. So within here, you're gonna see a bunch of different things at a glance once you're in the scheduling tool. So here you'll see recent notifications. So if things are ever happening within the scheduler, so say if something did go live, we'll send you a notification letting you know that. If something failed to post, we would also send you a notification as well so that you can get in here and remedy that problem as soon as possible. So we're gonna keep you as informed as possible with all of your content because we know how important that is. Below that, you'll see drafts. So you can use this tool for a bunch of different reasons. So say hypothetically, you were scheduling out a bunch of your content, but you didn't actually have the media assets, say the photos or the videos for the content. You could come in here and schedule your captions, your tags, the location, all those other things, and then later come in and put the media once you actually have it. So a super powerful tool there, and you can really use that for anything you're currently missing, or if you just wanna later post it or later schedule it, you can do that as well. And then below you'll see your media library. So here you can upload a bunch of content, whether that be photos or videos, and we'll actually store them for you right on Flick for easy access and scheduling all within Flick. So it's a super powerful tool and we'll walk through how to use that in a second. And here to the right, you'll see your calendar view. And this is going to show up in either a week view or a month view. So we'll just swap over to a month. And here you would see your scheduled content. So you can see everything at a glance to see if maybe you want to add content to a certain day to maintain your posting schedule. You can also see your feed preview within here as well. So this will actually show you how the content will make your feed look as it is posted out, okay? So as you can see right here, start planning your future feed by scheduling some posts with Flick. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna come back to calendar here and we're gonna go to new post and walk through how easy this is. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna upload some files to our media library to make posting even easier. So let's just select a few photos of me just for the sake of doing that. And we'll walk through. So these will be uploaded and stored within Flick. So you can use them whenever you want in the future. So we'll start by creating a new post by clicking new post and we'll walk through how easy this tool is to use. And so right here, what you'll see is that Instagram is selected with that check mark, but you can also post to your Facebook page, soon your TikTok account, as well as your LinkedIn account. So we're making it as easy as possible in the very near future to post to as many platforms as possible, as easily as possible. And you'll see throughout this tutorial, this tool is extremely easy to use. And that was the core focus because we want to make sure you love this so you actually use it. So now let's walk through how we can post something to Instagram for right now and then in the very near future, Facebook page, TikTok, and LinkedIn. So we can select from either our media library or upload files specifically for this post because we already put some things in our media library. Let's do that right here. We'll just select this photo of me looking professional. And then the next step in the process is writing out your caption. So here, this is a huge bonus of the scheduling tool is that you can come in here and bulk create your captions at one time and schedule them out for a later date. And it's very easy to do. It's awesome that you can just type this out from your keyboard. So from here, I'll just walk through how easy this is. Hi, this is a photo of me. And we also give you some tools right within the scheduler. So you can bold things. It really is, period. And you can even add emojis, which are always awesome for delivering a point. Obviously, when you're scheduling out your captions, you're gonna wanna be a lot more thoughtful and strategic with the messaging that you're delivering, the connection you're trying to make, as well as the call to actions you're including to get your followers and the people seeing your content to perform the actions that you actually want. But for the sake of this example, I'm just showing you how to use the tool. If you do want to level up your caption game, we did an entire video all about that linked in the card above. So go ahead and watch that if you're looking to improve your captions. And we also have an entirely dedicated course that will be free to Flick users all about captions coming very soon. So keep an eye out for that. Back to the scheduler. So you'll see right here, as I type things out, it's updating in real time in this post preview section right over here. So here you're gonna see the account that's being used, which is me at Ben Levitt underscore. And then also as we've changed things, it shows up dynamically in real time right here. So the caption is actually showing up right here as well as the 
the bold and the emoji too. So you can actually see everything at a glance. And of course, with us being Flick, it wouldn't be a Flick tool unless we improved your ability to use hashtags. So all you have to do to add hashtags to your post is just select this right here beside post preview. If you click that, it's gonna show you your different collections of hashtags that you've created within Flick or that Flick's created for you. So Flick will actually create smart collections for you based on your use of hashtags over time. So it'll show you your recently ranked on, your top performing tags, as well as your hashtags used overall. So you can easily access these tags right from in here. Or if you've created specific collections for specific kinds of content, you can access them all right here as well. So let's say I'm gonna be doing a growth quote. So I'll come in here, I can select all of them, and then I can insert them into the post right here. And that's automatically going to add them. And you'll be able to see that it actually shows up in the post preview as well. And so from within the caption, you can also tag people. You can tag up to 20 different users if that's something you're looking to do. And then below here, you can add a location. So let's just do Toronto, Ontario, and that will load. You can select that and you can now see the location tag is selected. Another point of note here is just like auto posting to access location tagging, you have to be a business account. So if that's a feature that you were looking to utilize, you're gonna have to convert your account to a business account to do that. And again, that's a Facebook issue. That's just their API. That is one of their restrictions. And you can also now come in down here to first comment. And here you can auto schedule the first comment on your content. So say that's hypothetically, you didn't want the tags within the actual caption and say you preferred them in the first comment. You can either copy and paste them like this this delete them this way or you could have access tags the same way by accessing your hashtag collections right here and then you could have copied them that way as well so you could have come over here and then you could have selected these all and then added them into your tags right here which you can see that works the exact same way insert selected tags and now that will show up in the first comment and it will go live as soon as you post the actual piece of content which is really really cool and within the first comment selection you also have the same tools of bolding and the use of emojis as well and tagging people so it's all the same thing as the caption and then below that you have your posting time option right here so if you click this flick will actually give you a recommendation of the best time to post for any day that you're actually scheduling content so for here i now know if i were to post this piece of content today the best time for me to post based on my followers and the times when they're online would be 4 p.m you can see that based on the rating system. So say let's go to a different day. So let's go to Wednesday. You can see that great times for me to post would be either noon or 4 p.m. based on how my unique audience is online. So this is a great tool to use to really see as you're going through the process, the best time for your unique account to post when the most amount of your followers are online, which makes scheduling that much more efficient. So this will give you the three best recommendations based on your audience, but you can also put in a completely custom time if that's something that you were looking to do. So then beyond the posting time, you can also select auto posting or a notification. So what auto posting is it's exactly what it sounds like. It'll automatically post on your behalf as long as you're a business account and it will go live. Once that happens, you will receive a notification saying that it has gone live and it will show up on your Instagram page post will have gone live, but you can also select it to be through notification. So what this would do is then send you notification for you to manually make it go live, but it would have all the different features that you have put in to the scheduled post. So really you can go about this either way. You can make it automatically go live, or maybe you want one final pass over everything that has been scheduled. You can have it set up for a notification that pings you. You can go and look, approve, and then actually post it out. So the choice is yours. So for the sake of this example, I will schedule out this content. So I'll click schedule. And now within our calendar here, you're going to see that scheduled post right here that is scheduled to go live at 11:59 p.m. and you can see a bunch of different metrics here like glance. So by just hovering over it, you can see the number of hashtags you've used, the tag location, the first comment as well as tagged users all right there and you can even see the caption and then the photo itself. So it makes looking at the content you're using extremely simple. And you can also use the scheduler feature across all the different accounts that you have connected with Flick and with that they'll all have their own media libraries as well. So say if I wanted to hover to a different account that I manage, I can just click this right here and as you can see it's going to have a completely different content content calendar, as well as different drafts and media library as well. So you can really make it easy to separate things and not get things all mismatched together. It makes keeping things consistent and clear and concise very, very easy. So we'll hop back over to my main account and we'll walk through how to schedule a video. So we'll upload a file, upload an MP4, which is a video file. Let's just do this right here. That is now uploaded to my media library and it shows that it's a video, not just a photo. And let's go through and actually schedule this out to go live. So from here, we can go media library, pick the video and then go through ahead and do this. And then it's the same process that you would before. The difference thing I wanted to show here is the fact that you can select its own thumbnail for the actual image like you would want to on a reel. So here in the video, you can come and then select the thumbnail that you actually want to use by just dragging this across to the specific thumbnail that you want to use, which is obviously a super powerful tool. Then I can click update thumbnail and that is now the one that will show up for the video right here. When posting a video, you can also click through into the media library and you can add 
add or select different users, just like you would in a photo. And then here you can also edit. So within here, you can crop the size of the video to see what's included. You can do this with photos as well. You can also trim the length of the video too. So if you want to make it shorter, you can actually do that directly within Flick and then apply changes and that will do so to the scheduled post as well. So we'll go through and write out the process right here just so I can show you it. So we'll do test and then we'll select a time for this to go live next Friday at 4 p.m. We'll select that and then only once you've selected a specific time to post can you actually click schedule. So let's say you haven't selected a time. What you could do is go through all of this process and then click save draft and then come back once you actually know the time and date you want to post and then come back in here and access it from your saved draft. So you do have two options that way. I'll schedule this out just so that you can see what it looks like and we can have auto posting or notification again and we can click schedule. And now you can see that it's added here as well. And it's gonna show you the same sort of metrics for the video as it did for the static post as well. One other thing I wanted to show you is that within a scheduled post, you can actually tag people in the post without having to type out their handle in the caption or anything like that. You can just come to the actual piece of content, whether it's a photo or a video, click to open that. And then here you can just type in their handle. So if, say if I wanna type on a tag flick.hashtags, I can do that, boom. And then they're now tagged and I can adjust where this sits and you can click save tags and it's that easy to tag someone. And again, you can click schedule and they are now tagged in that schedule post. And one final thing I want to walk through in the desktop version of this tutorial, because we will have a mobile one for all you mobile schedulers coming very soon. So you can use the tool within your phone as well. But for this, the final tool I want to show you is that you can select multiple media here and you can type this up and you can either delete this from your library, you can clear the selection, you can add a tag to specific media or you can create a carousel post here too. So much like in the post scheduler, you could just add more media. You can also select them right from the media library and then click to add carousel and that will come in here and it will show up as a carousel post. And once again, it's coming very soon to cross post to Facebook as well as TikTok and later LinkedIn as well. And within that, you'll be able to have different customizations specific to make it look native to each platform. So it will show up as it's intended to across each platform and it won't look like it was just kind of stuffed there. It'll show up organically using all the features and tools that each of those platforms gives you in a unique way to look the best possible. So that was a walkthrough of our desktop version for our Instagram scheduler. As mentioned, more platforms and tools will be added very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that. And this is currently available within your existing Flick account. So go ahead and use it and try it out for yourself at no additional cost to you. And if you've yet to try Flick out for yourself, we want you to try out our new scheduler and all of our other tools completely for free for a week. So go ahead and use the link down below in the description box and the pinned comment of this video to get yourself a free week trial to try out the Instagram scheduler for yourself. We are certain you're going to love it. As mentioned, if you do prefer to post from your phone, we will be releasing a mobile walkthrough coming out very, very soon for our scheduling feature. So keep an eye out for that and subscribe to the channel here if you want that tutorial. And as you're using the scheduler, if you come across any questions or if I missed anything, let us know in the comment section of this video and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Happy scheduling and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.